What's up everybody and welcome back guys to my brand new video on this YouTube channel We are back again as Sherlock Holmes with Devil's Daughter uh, Just where we left the last time If you didn't watch the previous episode, go please check it out It's a beautiful ep episode, crazy thing happened The third case is finished We are back in the fourth one and I think this is the Not the last one, but like the episode before the last one So this and then I think one more as a special episode Two or three hours long There'll be a special episode as the end of this beautiful and amazing serial we came through. We got over 5,000 views total on this serial, which is incredible. So thank you, thank you all so much, guys, for the big, 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 big support on this YouTube, YouTube serial. And let's see what happened and let's continue the story. That's quite enough. What's happening here, Constable? Mr. Holmes, this gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How are you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. Oh. It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, I. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Rose. Okay, so I'm a big fucking head in this city, in London, you know. This is a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all the participants in the accident. Huh. Shit accidents. Ele elements found. What am I supposed to found eg exactly? This reminds all the elements. This reminds all, all all the elements of the area. My poor leg. Hmm. So the city is closed. How are we supposed to? This is the one element. Was struck by the scaffold when it fell. That's one element. This technical cab was involved in this tragic accident. True. I don't know what the fuck happened here. The old gas lamps in the square have been upgraded to electricity. Hmm. Batteries. I won't be able to it with my bare hands. Huh. Interesting. Element three found. Ele element four. We just seen better days. Him. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this car? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. Accident. What can you tell me about the accident? Oh, I don't know. There was a collision. I fell to the ground. I come over all dizzy. Collision? What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. Huh. Okay. This is an absolute disaster. Huh. What the fuck happened here? That's what I want to know. Cab was involved in this oh. This mechanism played a part in the accident, I'm sure. Uh -huh. Right? So this or pumpkin? Right? No, it wasn't like that. Fuck. 
Why is there a pumpkin? Can there be a thing? Yeah. Done, and then this 1000 over way then down. And this happened to hit there. Huh! Interesting, really interesting. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please, not now. I'm in shock. Might I ask you some questions He's regarding in shock. the accident? Please, not now. I'm in shock. My poor Mr. Holmes. What do you make of this accident, Holmes? <laughs> This cab hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp shop. A common fate. An uncommon there are so many cabs. This horse was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. Ah, makes sense. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. Celebratory bumper. A dead driver. Another victim of the explosion. Hmm. Ten. Ha! Huh. This is really sus for fuck's sake. Whoa! This this is one of the craziest. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No, you can't. Go away. Huh. This jaunting car would be capable of traveling at great speed. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. Ah. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Pumpkin? The pumpkins fell here after the sprung cart collided. <sighs> what a bloody carnage. Bro, this shit, this shit not, not, not... This stuff is crazy. They don't want to speak. Yeah, okay, let's put it in a map. Please. Not now. I'm in shock. And this thing that, that was thrown here maybe blinded a horse and then horse hit it. I don't know. But we, we need to investigate in there. Was that a... No, no, no. Wait. Hmm. So it hit. What a bloody carnage! Can we can we investigate anything here with this point of view? No. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please, not now. I'm in shock. Hmm. He don't want to speak. They are broken, I guess. Yeah. Those wardrobes felt like dominoes. Yeah. So they were put at a place here, and then the horse. No. Nah. What is the last clue? Questions regarding the accident. No, you can't. Go away. This is all on fire. This is a dead guy. This is a hit. This was broken. This was... Celebratory bumper. So they were all hit by the... thing. Huh. Also broken. Investigate it. Huh. What is there else to check? Or. That sound crazy. Dominoes they hit. Huh. I don't even know what the fuck happened here, to be honest. I've not seen a traffic accident like this before. Also true, this is some 
Can this ah uh, there? The rope holding the bunting was torn apart. A large section of it is now missing. Let's see. That's it. Elements found. Thirteen out of thirteen. I believe I have enough information about this accident. Now let's recreate the sequence of events. Okay, let's pass time. Present time, past time. So let's say they were driving there. They hit the lights now. Oof. How am I supposed to know this? Well, maybe the logical thing is this was hit, they were driving, they got destroyed, then he got attacked, this happened. Ah, no, no, wait. No. Then this thing happened. Then they were blindfolded. Also, this one. This collapses. They were then hit. He was hit. He destroyed Dominus. Can there be a thing? Bam, bam. He destroyed this hit. Down. They were hit. This destroyed this thing. Hit. All the participants in the accident sequence. What is missing? Oh, this one. Hit this one, this one, that one, that one, bam, bam, bam. Must include all the participants in the accident sequence. Oh, the burn thing. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff happening. Whoa. They were destroyed. It wasn't like that. They were destroyed my hardest and throw back against their survivor. Okay, let's just skip it. I, I can't, I can't. It's too hard. They were hit, this was hit. Oh yeah, then this, the fire. I was re relatively closed. The technical cab's sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? That's true. But um, what, uh, what could have caused the technical cab to suddenly stop? There's no clues away with the moment. God, this is crazy. This is the case you never have, you know, what do you, make you don't thing? see this type of, I, 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 like, cases, usually. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. Uh, there was an explosion uh, and miles. What a bloody carnage. Okay, so why did he stop? There's a metal strap in. He's dead. Tattoo? Probably gang. A tattoo. This man was killed by electricity. Electricity. Mud. This man was armed with a revolver. Webley, I suspect. Huh. So he was armed. This crank is than the water. There's also a dead man here. Whiskey. Some kind of solvent. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Huh. A pneumatic hammer. And also this dude. Also dog that was probably gang. Rasco. Yes, I know him. He's a small time local criminal. Yes, he was all, yeah, of course, so he is probably a uh, criminal, they're all criminals, they're all in gang. Also, electrical burn, also, like, the sticky, like, the thing they, they, they were drinking, I guess, that didn't boost my money. Hmm. Why I can't open it? A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Some kind of solvent. Some kind of why why can't open it? A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Some kind of solvent. 
some kind of solvent. What's else there to be found? Nothing, huh? Some kind of solvent. Some kind of solvent. I know, but I can't take it. Hmm. That's really sus. Do I need some shit to pick it up? A technical crime stopped suddenly for a known reason. The cause of the disaster was sudden held for the technical cab. The alarm paused after the cab and I'm moving. Why did the cab stop? The driver and the passenger in the electric cab was electrocuted, but not by electricity from the lamp post. The question mark from where the electricity or ah the men were found in some technical cab. They were both marked with a doctor two problem gang symbol. One of the men was armed with a vest revolver. The uh, other one had a second tattoo upon his arm. The name R Rasco. Rasco. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please, not now. My poor leg. Mr. Holmes, I've not seen a traffic accident like this before. <laughs> Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. This cab was painted recently. There is some text underneath the paint here. It will be important. I'll need to find a way to remove this fresh paint. Probably by the soul winds. Which makes sense. I'm fucking smart. I'm fucking smart. Underground Electric Railways Company of London. Huh, interesting. Underground Electric Railways Company of London. Hmm. But why was he armed with a gun? That doesn't make sense to me. What is else here to be found? A pneumatic hammer. There is nothing else to be found here. Right? There was a hammer. Mud. Oh. It smells bad. Huh! Water? Something in the puddle. Fire. There is some electric. Mmm, was this... It, it, it was an ambush. Double... A double lock may be used in the same ways as two single ones. Uh-huh. Maybe, yeah, that's maybe too much. And third one. Perfect. And then we need to do the second one. Let's do a fourth one. Beautiful. Maybe same combination. Beautiful. Same. Perfect. Oh. Damn, this was an ambush. This case is really crazy. I love it. Uh -huh.
Beautiful. The electrical charge which affected the technical cab came from here. So it was an ambush because they were a gang which maybe can represent the single a bottle of cheap wine. A single glass containing traces of alcohol. So the guy was drinking. So paper smoke on the water. Women are not allowed to smoke in public, the car declared. Today, may I carry that uh, that is no longer a crime for a woman to smoke in public here in London at least. He then proceeded to describe Mary Thompson, Alice Watkin. Three ladies who had been smiled arrested for smoking in the square square. Man. This shit's crazy. I can see the technical cab very well from here. <laughs> So he was amb uh, ambushing us, right? So this was an ambush. Damn, bro, and why would somebody ambush them? We don't know shit. This is one of the greatest cases ever. I, I love it. It's it's not Something typical like before once, you know, like just one person dead. It's a massacre of, n of 13 people dead Holmes, I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're a murderer. Pure head. Pure head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident because the killer by electrocuting the cab created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen, don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. Now I see five men who could be our murderer. Let us take a look at the map. So, so this one. Oh, leg. Very close to the apartment, it's an ideal position to watch the scared daily local worker was injured during accidents. So, very close to the apartment, an ideal position to watch the square uh, daily local worker was injured during the accident, but he was just a daily worker guy. Then we had other one. When the accident distance from the apartment, cab driver could deliver a smash into the water bar. Poof. Could deliver a smash into the water bar. This one. Close to the apartment, could deliver this lifting mechanism, sprung car driver was injured during accident. This one that they that, that want to speak, could be a random pedestrian, angry, nervous, not violent during accident, distant from the apartment. And then we have the last one, which is really close to the apartment. Close to the apartment, not violent during accident, it could be a random pedestrian. I mean, it could be, but he's really close to the apartment, and he's in shock. This man is a driver, not a suspect. I mean, look at this, he's... This man is a driver, he was part of the accident, unfortunately he was not wounded by the explosion, perhaps because he knew what it was to take... This man is a driver, it is obvious that he was uh, occupied during the accident. It will never have been possible for him to actually like, drive at the same time. True. Not a suspect. This man is a driver, it is obvious that he was currently the accident. This man is a driver, he was in the area where the accident took place. He was one of the pumpkins that activated his care for. Yeah, but he wasn't... It's a pumpkin. Would have been possible for him to activate the drive at the same time. I think it, it wouldn't be. He can be a suspect. He can be a suspect. And I want to say he can be a That's suspect. It. Uh, sure, can I have the rest of the worker determine who might be su su suspect in the square? Hmm. <laughs> so... Is this is this gonna be the last case? Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. In order to trap the cab, the killer must have known the precise route it would take. Or even that could suggest the cab must have set up not far from here in this very street, perhaps. Remarkable. Holmes, I'm terribly sorry, but I must go to the hospital now to help tend to the wound. I understand, Watson. But don't forget our earlier discussion. Hmm? About case. Uh, what is this suspect? Turning it possible. Suspect find out where the, te the technical cab came from. Perhaps it was not far from the streets. 
Ha. Hmm. How am I supposed to? Oh, we are going to Scotland Yard. Find where the technical cab came from. Perhaps it was not from technical cab. Abby was not far from the street. This is an absolute disaster. Okay. Let's go to the Scotland Yard. Man, this is crazy, actually. Who could be a suspect? And if... Like... It's a different type of case than usually, you know? It's not just something... I guess it's a big case that you, you don't see often. I love it. I, I, I really love it. I think the Keith and Al, 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 Alice are gonna be big, big problem for our stuff. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes. We have a slight problem. What happened? One of the suspects, a Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um, he hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I... Uh... Of course. That's all? Just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will be absent for a couple of days. Can we keep this incident between us? Shit. Oh my god, I have so many shit to do. One of them escaped. Well, let's see their belonging, belongings at first place. This pen is an expensive one, but it isn't new. Pen. Candies. Butcher is fond of sweets. Dear Mr. Butcher, your re uh, repeated absence, which is compounded by delays with existing workloads, simply cannot continue. You are responsible for the numbers of serious errors that your colleague have found himself uh, complete to re re I don't know how to say that. We are sorry for this present situation as you have always been an exploratory employee. We understand the, comp the complication of your personal situation, but if you are unable to correct your behaviors in the series' future, we forced to generate employment. The director of the Grand Railways Company of London. So he's also in the underground. The had problems with his job. Hmm, interesting. Mr. Butcher, we have uh, the most excellent news for you. Please arrange to visit the hospital as soon as possible so that he, uh, we may consider the matter. Her condition is... is oh, he's expecting a kid. This letter, but she's employed by underground in these railways. It appears the butcher has a problem, pro problem at work. I'm on hospital. So... This letter from yesterday perhaps explains why butcher was in such a hurry. At any rate, I now have an exact address. So he's in the hospital. MB. Mr. Butcher. So he's expecting a kid. That's why he said, sorry, I, I will come back later. Which makes sense. Oh, Murad, quite a popular brand of cigarette. So he's, you know, whiskey of poor quality. Picture. My life has changed thanks to Pastor Gordon and my faith. Pastor Gordon and my faith. Benjamin, my son, I will be so pleased if you could join me and help lead our next charity. Benghera, which is due to, to, to take place on Sunday after the service. Your God will bring such joy, and I know that I may rely upon you. I remember how your life began in sin, your feeling rejected and alone in the world, on how you turned out uh, to the criminal path. But you found the strength within you to make the change. You became a good man. Our Lord will have mercy upon you. I should always be happy to see you in our church, my son. God bless you, Pastor Gordon. So he's kind of religious Speak right now. Gloves. They're probably insulated. Mm -hmm. So difficult life, promise at work, Alexander like rebirth, rebirth. So he was a Jewish promise at work. No? Okay. So what we can put criminal in the past. Benjamin Fowler was a band when he was young, but he was since changed his way because he came to that fucking hospital or some shit. No, the, the, the church and the 
started to pray. Oh. Dear Mr. Gat, we are only informing that you're despite your explanation. You are still in debt and a good sum of money. We will suggest that you contact our payment service as soon as possible, otherwise, you shall be able to involve the police in this infringement and financial director of Bank of England. So he's in debt. Carl Heinzen's 1848 De Maud with a bookmark. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. If you have to blow up a half a continent and create a blood path in order to destroy the barbarian's body, you can be demanded to process neither execution than anyone who would not happily sacrifice his own life for the honor of a million, million barbarians and a true Republican. I agree, such a screen. Whoa, that's some sus shit right here. Bank director, bank director, Bronson and work, expedition, Bronson and work. No, okay. Well, what is here? Anarchist ideology. Anarchist opposed to uh, anar anarchist opposed to the state. Capitalism maker. Bank the bank. Mm. Okay. Uh, Sus. Uh, the belongings of the victims. Rusko and his Oh, the entry card. A normal pocket knife. A Webley revolver. Rasco is fond of licorice. Huh. A police report about Rasco. He's only a minor criminal. Uh, Enchanted, also known as Rasco, leader of a small local gang whose members can be identified by the gang's motive adopted too. The gang has been involved in the frigging events and robbery, pickpotting, etc. Ah, so that makes sense. I mean, it was kind of attack on gang. I think that's that's what happened, attack on a gang. But at the same time, they cause a big trouble there, right? Can we do the Morju? I'm scared. Is there anybody dead down there? To see, to check. Bro, this this shit is crazy. Can we enter here? No, we can't. Okay. Maybe here or something? Nope. Okay, this is really sus. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I'm Benjamin Fowler, and I was arrested... Uh-huh. That is the guy. Swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Oh, but I saw nothing. I swear. Let me go. Let me just paint a picture of you for a second. Doctor Two, gang member. So he's also a gang member. Religious, I think. Injured leg. Smoker. What is what is this supposed to be with a head? Yeah, okay, beautiful. Manual worker. Is this smoker? Okay. Benjamin Fowler is a man in his 40s. He's an manual worker. He's involved with a reconstruction work of the statue in the square, which explains his presence at the scene of the accident and his resulting leg injury. Mr. was a duck tattoo gang member, Mark, which he attempted to hide. Yellow nail identify him as a heavy smoker, he's a religious man. Accident? Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square's statue. I worked for the council, I swear it. Do you ever work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lamp posts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. 
I know nothing. I swear. Yes, you swear it. I know. <laughs> Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it. I swear. I'm Doctor Two. But your tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um. Um. Uh, no. It, it was a long time ago. I already forgot. I swear it. <laughs> I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. Hmm. Bang, David, sir. Ha! Penny Father sent us work for electricity, but he knows especially it is doubtful that he um, would know how to create such a deadly trap. Penny Father has actually knowledge to repair the lamp pass, which could have enabled him to create a deadly trap. I think he's not a specialist. Which kind of makes sense. Or if he was, that would be the only difference in something. Terminal in the past. <laughs> but he, it's a mistake, I swear. But he had a virus. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Ha! Huh. This is a sus as fuck. Hello there. Great you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> you are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No one has been charged yet. Yet. <coughs> Pin a picture of a few for a second. He's ill. Anarchist symbol. He's poor. Nice. So, oh, this is the last case. So, guys, this is gonna be the special episode then, because there's no more people to be found out. So, the last. We met in the, in a, yeah, we met in the case. So, this is the last case, guys. It, it, I think this is gonna be the last episode of Sherlock Holmes. But I'm sad. Thomas Garrett is an aggressive person who wears the symbol of the anarchist. He dislikes the police and most probably all authority. It is obvious that he's poor and his clothes are old and worn. Mr. Garrett takes people black spurn and through his coughing, which is a symptom of silicosis. Garrett is ill, especially a burn upon his finger reveals that he must break the electricity. What did you see? see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes, I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep. There were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. No, you didn't. You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <laughs> Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Ah, well observed. Yes, I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire London <coughs> district. You were a miner then? Since the age of 13, yes, at the Newcastle Mines. 15 years of hell. Those were bloody times. But now it's over. I don't want to die in those holes like my father and my brothers did, in order to line the pockets of the rich. Hmm. <laughs> Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? You a mind reader? <laughs> <laughs> there are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes. I'll teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. Hmm. Hey, mister! Let me out! I'm innocent! I swear it! Condemn me to death. That's your job after all. I think he's the one. Doctor Two, Thomas Garrett, Thomas Garrett, Rex Thomas, Susan, Susan, there's something because they fall us from his lungs. A bunch of drugs on his ladder, but she's employed. Ha 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 ha. 
damage that spirit from the scrum. Yeah, but I'm aware that you appear from perhaps it was not the only dirty possible suspects. It's a mistake, I swear it. Why well, can't do the, the dirt one? Okay, let's go to the hospital. Yeah, there's the third one. Let's go to the hospital. And let's see what is he about. I'm apparently in the children's ward. I'm apparently in the children's ward. Yeah, I know that. Is that him? Mr. Butcher's wife. Hmm. Mr. Butcher's wife. A young woman lost her life. I shame. Mr. Butcher, I can confirm that we are willing to admit their daughter into the care of your hospital. We will be responsible for the travel expedition, actually taking all of the due to the religious state of your daughter. She must attend to any of the cost at all. Medical attention. The final bill cannot be surrendered within this letter. It will depend, of, of course, upon your daughter's condition. But I must warn you that the sum may be considerable. Got a minute, Karen Hospital. Shit. Admission file at Karolinski University Hospital in Stockholm. Stockholm. Oh. <sighs> This shit's hard. This case is hard. The electrical trap for a technique Kevin Kieran but a professional Thomas Garrett would have not uh, have the suffering. Ah, he would. As Thomas Garrett teaches electri electricity, he would have suffering knowledge to make the trap for the cat. For sure. Uh, the problem ring due to the hand time off, he's taking the visit to his little daughter. Ha, ah, shit. Meryl Butcher. Hey, Butcher. Mr. Reginald Butcher, I come from Scotland Yard. Might we talk? All right, but not too loudly. She's finally asleep. Is she your daughter? Our pretty little Meryl. She's very ill. Now look, I'm sorry I ran, but I had to see Dr. Blowbury today, and the policeman wouldn't listen. Don't worry, I understand that. Let me just paint a picture of yours, man. You seem like a fucking killer. Badge and liquor. Ring, I am a. Of, of course, he's married. Daughter's gift, I think. Yeah, okay, beautiful. Really, Ricker was once a responsible daughter's gift, married, and wrist, wrist, wristly cleaned. So he's. Wait, you cleaned your shoes and you don't have the money. That's kind of sus. Okay. Original. A butchered, a married man holds the position of railway worker. He's depressed due to the illness of his daughter, of whom he's extremely fond. His shoes are shiny, they have no doubt been recently cleaned. His expensive waistcoat, now in shabby condition, reveals that he was previously a prosperous man. Mr. Butcher loves his daughter and is not ashamed to wear a child's bracelet to display his affection. Cure? Can she be cured? It'll take a long time. But I'm confident that we'll win this fight. I can't bear to think otherwise. Yes, it's probably just a question of money. What are you talking about? It's a question of willpower, and my daughter will win. Practical virus and stock out of the excellent treatment of Mary. I do hope so. Although the treatment at the Karolinska University Hospital is very expensive. Ah, um, yeah, it's our only hope. Thanks to the good Dr. Blowberry, she finally has a bed. We're going out next week. It's our last chance. Do you have children? Yes. I have a daughter too.
We'd sacrifice our lives for our children, would we not? Of course, yeah. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Mr. Butcher? I... I work at the office of the Underground Electric Railways Company. Then you must be familiar with electrical devices. I am indeed. Why do you ask? It is of no consequence, but tell me, what are the reasons behind the problems you're experiencing at work? Problems? What do you mean? You have already received a written warning. Yes, but I'm often late to work. My boss doesn't understand my situation. It's difficult since my daughter became ill. I see. Taking a cab? Coincidentally, we found one of your company's cabs in the square where the accident occurred. Really? Why was it there? I have no idea. Do you? No. But a week ago, we had a technical cab stolen, along with its tools. Do you think that could be the one? It's possible. It's stolen and the gang stole it. Shh. They're not asleep. Shit. Uh, so I'm gonna let just treatment. So now we have to find out where the technical cab came from. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a hard case. So now what is left is to see the scot No shit. Oh my goodness, I have I fucked up. Our guy Butcher knows how to work with electrical because of his job, but that doesn't mean that he will be capable of cleaning the deadly electrical trap. Reginald Butcher knows how to work with electrical because of his job, he will have been able to trap this crap and activate. He would be able. So, I mean, he would be, but he, does he have a motive to kill gang members? Not really. And if, like he said, the cab was stolen, so also that can be a thing. In the area. I truly don't have an idea how to solve this case. We don't have any. I mean, we have the suspects, but like, we don't have any any possible, you know, like murders and everything. And he ran away. He had the illness, and I think he doesn't have an, a reason to kill. You know why? He's in bad financial situation. He had a problem with shit. Is this? Yeah, that's where the stuff came from. But where did the cab came from? It wasn't far away from the streets. Huh. Can we go here? No, we can't. Huh. Oh. Wait a second. Was there not an apartment we, we were able to get in? Whoa, 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 second. Uh huh. Mud. Huh. Not bad. What is this? Fresh paint, but from something else. Huh. A mud. The lock was forced. Whoa. What is this? Snake nest and corner in the district of Saint Prayer, which is an active demolition old house, means they have encountered a nest of snake which has spawned upwards of the hundred square reptiles. The reptiles didn't have at the bottom for well long since right up in the middle of the snake nest there was Skeleton of a child who had unlikely plugged down the well of his or her death. Surprisingly, the skeleton in the question was still holding a red Morocco portfolio. 
Marsh is in a part from one line of strip of paper which reads and not reveal the plot. Somebody ate a child? What the fuck is wrong with these people these days? Also. And, the mud goes through the entire room. and a lot of mud was in the cabin also. The gang cabin one. We need to lockpick. Oh my goodness. No space for this lockpick. Mm -hmm. No, but I need. Wait a second. No, no. Huh. Let's use the third one and the first one now. So we need the bigger ones, maybe the second one and the fourth no one. For this lock pick. This one? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh sheesh. But can we open that one? No, okay. So let's use this as the first one. Then use, let's say, four one. Beautiful. Please, same, same, same. No, not the same combination. Shit. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's use four one, third one. Beautiful. And then there, let's. No, 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 no. Yeah. Then let's there use the fourth one. Beautiful. I'm fucking smart. I'm fucking genius at this shit. What was here? Saleable items are produced with it. Mud. <laughs> Not bad. Of course, because it's mud. What they've been doing here? It looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. True. Oh. An odd access point to the sewers. Go to the sewers. Was there where the skeleton of of a kid was found in the snakes this is really sus oh my goodness whoa this is crazy I truly don't know guys, this is a really complicated case and my mind is not really working properly for this case also. So like it is really a hard one to proceed uh, all the stuff and get all the pieces together, you know. But, and it is really a strange case also to be honest, you know. You don't see this stuff hap happening often like, like this, you know. Like, it is a lot. It is really a lot. What is this? Uh oh. See where London? I better not go there. True. But what if if we put here one and a half? And then run it up. Okay, and what if we do it by zero? We'll go all the way down. Huh. How do I pass this? Oh no, yeah, sure. Oh, cause the water, ah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Damn, host, you're one crazy motherfucker. Come on, push, push, bodybuilder, bodybuilder, bodybuilder. Easy, easy, easy muscles, easy muscles. Yeah, okay. 
I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I don't really know what to expect at this point. It is a really crazy case. It is really a big one. I will do it till we don't finish it. So, you know, a big case, to be honest. Well, one and a half. Right? Yep. Beautiful. Now we have two sides. Wait, we can also do this. What is this? Oh, we can do it all the time? Really? That's what's up. I don't know guys, what do you think who is the killer? It is gonna be much more complicated, but just the this stuff where the where the cabin came from, this place where we are right now is really sus to be honest. Also the really sus thing, another really sus thing is the I don't know, everybody has a connection with electricity and wires, which is also really crazy, you know? Like wires and all the shit, it, it, is, it is really crazy and it is something you don't see that often. Yeah, but what, what do I have to do here? Like, there's nothing here. But for real, there's basically nothing here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Oh my God, these puzzles are killing me, man. Oh no, my 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 bad. Zero zero zero. My bad. My bad. My bad. Shit. I fucked up. no stairs yeah we can't climb those but what we can do huh push this I guess I don't know maybe maybe then pull the water out I really don't know it is really sus I, I don't even know what, if, what I'm supposed to expect, like, when I was in the temple, I was expecting Takunuman or somebody like that, and now, like, there's nothing, basically, it's like I'm in the middle of nowhere, you know, just found a secret hole and went to a secret hole alone, you know, I don't have, like, a, you know, when I went to a temple, I was, like, you know, like, okay, it's a temple and I know what I'm searching for. Like, okay, I'm going for a temple, I'm gonna enter the temple and find Takunuman or something like that. But now there's, like, basically nothing. It's it's just, like, um, I, like, like I said, a middle of a nowhere with, like, ent enter the random hole there, you know? So, I have no idea what I'm supposed to find and what I'm supposed to... You know, expect a fall. Nice. I don't know, guys. It is it is really crazy. I love it. It's so that far. And imagine fighting like a. Imagine this being a gang member side, like they're all meeting up here and all this shit. That would be hella funny. That would be hella funny. Yeah, but how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to go across that part? Huh. Like, am I supposed to be, like, fast? No, like, because I, I can't get through it, right? There's no way, correct? 
yeah I can so the only logical thing to me is get it in zero put it in one and get down and then jump I think that's a logical thing to me right is it so get it to zero yes so get it all the way down and when it, when the water is all is all the way down just get it to one and be hella fast be hella fast no I, I, I can't really What am I supposed to do? Mm, if I come here, I can't do shit, right? There's basically nothing here to do at all. Correct? Yeah, I, I can do shit. Or maybe that one can help. Uh huh. Did I say something? No. I really don't know how how to cross this. Hmm. Maybe if we take it to zero, then get through this. Then just skip it, so we can we can't why 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 to do it? Maybe pre yeah, press that one. I'm fucking smart. Okay, but that still doesn't help at all. Okay, now I have a path to pass, but I still, huh? I mean, it helped me, I guess, I don't know. What is this? Ah, this makes sense. Yeah, yeah, now, now this, this makes sense, this makes sense. Okay, got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm fucking smart as fuck. I'm an IQ 500, man. Big drip, big shit, big kids. Let's go. That one, then go this way, and then jump, and then grab on the ladder, and then climb the ladder, and we made it. I'm fucking smart. I know, I know, guys. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm too fucking smart. Let's go, baby. Let's go, broski. We good. We out here. Okay, but how am I supposed to pass? Okay, this one, I guess. Yep. Let's go. Pump it up! Uh, achievement achieved. What is that? A red powder. Given the circumstances, most probably iron oxide. Or just rust. Metal powder. Looks like aluminium. Aluminium. Magnesium strips. Hmm. Iron oxide powder, aluminium powder, and magnesium strips were found in silver. They're in here, but. Terminide, which is going to be used in, in, in railway sweating, and guess who works at the railway? Damn, man. Ooh. So it was the goal of Rasco's gang to rob the bank. Whoa. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. An old map of the sewers with a red cross. This vault belongs to the Bank of England. Bank of England. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken. So his gang. The 
iron wall of the vault has been melted too. Still warm. So what you are saying, the dog gang, her thing was... Wait, what is this? This is the vault, right? The money. Ah, oh, wait. What the fuck just happened? So their goal was to rob a bank, I guess. That's what's what's up. But I wonder about so the the money is there with the like the thing, and then we are here, and then we have the water, then we need to go from the water here, right? There's two possible combinations, which one of these are the X, right? I think that's where the X is. Maybe I'm just dumb as fuck. Oh, pop, 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 something here. The Red Cross of the Seavers. Metal rings. They used to hold the barrel in one piece. Oh, money. The bank rate. Dry, so it hasn't been here very long. <gasps> Also, the cigar, the... All of the licorice has been eaten. The licorice was found both at the sewers and amongst Westwood for long. The cigar. Murad. Quite a popular brand of cigarette. Yeah, the, the Murad, the guy the was... The cigarette stub is dry. It was discarded fairly recently. The tobacco's aroma is still strong. It's uh, sweet and nutty. It's a beko. What else is there to be found? These barrels are empty and unsealed. The thieves used these barrels for the loot, which they then threw into the water. I need to warn Lestrade about this. Mm. Damn, bro. This shit hits hard. This shit hits hard. Whoa, man. Bank robbery. Let's go, gang. Damn, bro, we have so many pieces together connected. I saw the murder. Oh my goodness, my head fucking hurts. Oh my goodness. I cannot even tell you guys how much this is stressful. There's so many po possible suspects and possible scenarios in, in my head. Whoa. And the, the biggest thing about this is they're all matching, you know? We can all put him in a possible, you know. The Bank of England. Second, second. I was rather than searching in the bank where Thomas Garrett has a large debt, Thomas Garrett. Yeah, this is existing. He was after the man in the trap of the cab. It's not actually the allergy to rob a bank they prefer to destroy. Thomas Garrett allied himself with a rescue gang in order to take advantage of the bank of the... No, I'm just an anarchist, I think. But in Florida was the rescue gang. Florida was once a member of the rescue gang, but it was all known in the past. Bandits and Benjamin Florida never changed. So Rico Atan might be covered up for his crime. And this, if I said it's wrong, I think that that's that. No, it's not. I mean, probably, probably, probably somebody knew about it. But sure, it's underground. I mean, they were very kind of. There's not a criminal case of a daughter who is ill and needs her father. He will not be risking anyone in a bed. I think true. Arjun needs uh, urgent medical care of his daughter because of this kind of risk again. Oof. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, I, 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 I don't think so. I think the Garrett is, is the guy who took a uh, plan on Robert before killing anyone. The Garrett is dangerous and actually prepared to kill his accomplice and Garrett's great many people. He deserves a sort of punishment. Donald Garrett worked tower for all of his life. He ended up in death at a bank. He was ready to commit his crime but could not bear to leave the criminals some punishment so prepared to try for them second chance. I don't really know what to say here because the thing is, Rasko, the criminal in the past, let me just get a picture again of the people. So we have Benjamin Fubler, we have Thomas Garrett, and we have Reginald Butcher. Uh, Benjamin Fubler, Thomas Garrett, and Reginald Butcher. Butcher has a daughter, he's in debt. I mean, he's not, but he needs a lot of money for his daughter so he can get a child thing, you know, he can prevent her child from, I don't know, dying and shit. So it kind of makes sense for for him to rob a bank, but at the same time there is Garrett, who is aggressive person who doesn't like who, who who was working in the in the mines. So it doesn't make sense that he who was working in mines actually, but he was working with electric. I think he doesn't have any any reasons to rob a bank. You know. I mean, sure, he's he he's ill. He works. He was working in a mine, but he doesn't have any intentions. You know, okay, get rich, but okay, he he might kill the people. But I think it's actually Benjamin Fabler because he was always swinging and everything. The thing is, he's dumb. He doesn't know how to work with the, the, the electricity. But Garrett knows. Also goes for Butcher because he was working there. He also worked for, but he doesn't have any intentions too. But he has Dog Tattoo, which attempts to hide. But that kind of makes sense. He was in gang once and they maybe betrayed him. And then he was, I think it's, it's. Benjamin Fowler, to be honest. I think it is Benjamin Fowler. Well, he's a man of the rescue gang. He helped the gang to rob the bank and then kill them so that he might keep all the money. I don't think this is the case, to be honest. This part is telling me that he didn't want to keep all the money for them. Remember the rest again, he helped the gang to rob the bank and then kill them so that he might kill, keep, keep all the money off for himself. Hey, let's do Hobbler. If it's not Hobbler, I think it is going to be Butcher. Because the guy wrecking the mines doesn't have any intentions. You assisted Rasko in robbing the bank, and then you killed him to keep the money for yourself. You are under arrest. What? But it's not true. I never killed anyone. I swear it. I swear it. Was it? Of course not. Of course not. Yeah, so... It's not Benjamin. Yeah, because the thing that doesn't make sense to me was the part where he wanted to keep all the money for himself and that doesn't that doesn't match up, you know? The the Hobbler thing does doesn't match up because he the the this part got me out, okay, it's not him because it doesn't make sense for him to keep all the money for himself, but maybe if we put him as a bandit and then we put it he wasn't Hobbler's new life. Mr. Garrett is a maritime Garrett took a part in the Bank of England before killing his accomplice. 
Some is getting dangerous tankies who clearly killed his incompetent and in against a great many people. This is serve punishment. Uh, let's see if 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 we said that his that he, I think it's him to be honest. Can it be? Look how big the butcher is. No, it's, it's the same. I should have the rest again to rob the bank and then kill them for the money. And Butcher is a dangerous criminal who not only robbed the bank but also killed. Recently cleaned. Right? His shoes were recently cleaned from the mud. I think it's it's it's, it's him. As much as as as, as I don't want to be him, I think it's it's him. Because his shoes were recently cleaned. Don't you remember? His shoes were clean when so it Mr. Holmes, Mr. Butcher, say goodbye to your daughter. We are arresting you for robbery and murder. What? You can't do that. What will happen to my girl? You should have thought about that. You monster. Even if it were true, what would a bank's money be worth against the life of a child? I love you, Meryl. Murder is never proof of love. Now please, come with us. And now I don't think it's it's him either. Nah. It is! Butcher, yeah, that kind of that that kind of makes sense to me. Original Butcher committed murder and robbed a bank for his personal gain. There can be no excuses. He should have found an alternate solution for his problem. He must be in prison. True, because the thing that got me thinking about it's him, because the shoes. You know, none of the people had clean shoes. They were all poor, and the guy who was the the, the religious guy when was once a criminal and it's not anymore. Also, the testament that said uh, he will keep all the money for himself for himself because he wanted to kill them doesn't make sense to me because there's no reason for him to keep the money and then the other dude was also really cocky but it also doesn't make sense for me to rob a bank in i mean it was 50 50 between him and the and the and the butcher because he also was really cocky you know but the the fact that he was written in the mines that all of his family is dead that he's coughing you know and that he wasn't really muddy doesn't make sense but the thing that got me to think that the gummy okay it's butcher is the shoes recently cleaned that's a clue that got me thinking okay it's butcher because all the people they were dead the gang members were having a dog tat on the on on the neck and he i think he doesn't have it so that doesn't make sense. Also, the guy who was previously in a in a gang, it doesn't make sense for him to kill his gang because it's his gang, you know. He, you don't attack your gang, you don't kill your gang, you don't keep money for yourself because it doesn't make sense. Because there's going to be a gang mafia or the boss who will kill you. But what I think the cool dude also seems like a dude who will, who will you know... Who will, I guess, probably, I don't know, the coal dude, the guy who was working in the coal. Because he was really good with the wires. He was working his soft art and he's teaching others the, the wire thing. So, I don't know. But I, it, it is butcher. I'm sorry for his daughter. But, bro, Fever Dreams is the last case we have. Which is going to be with, as we can see, the picture with the Alice. With Alice and with Alice's and with the uh, with Alice's or my daughter, I think that's that's gonna be a case where my daughter is maybe gonna know about this room and she's gonna do the shit. I don't know how it is gonna be, but let's just see the beginning of the Fever Dreams case and let's c continue it in the next episode, which is gonna be tomorrow, probably, which is gonna be the biggest and the longest episode if that's possible. The last case, the Fever Dreams. Holmes, at last you're back. We can't find Kate. What? She went for her lesson, but the teacher says that Kate never arrived. Mrs. Hudson? She's gone out to ask around the neighborhood. Do you know what? Let's actually... No, 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 okay.
Hey. Kate is not here. Let's call it a day. You know? Let's don't... I, as much as I want to complete the cage right now and have another year or hour of this, let's just don't do it. Let's do it in the next episode tomorrow. Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay. Hey guys. It's been a crazy episode today. Really good. The case... The fourth case was really interesting. Something you didn't saw, you, you, you something you don't see usually because it's really crazy. It's you know about a killing, about murders, about 20 people dead, five suspects who's gonna be the killer. But finally, we found the one who I didn't, di didn't really think it is gonna be a killer, especially because not, not, not again, Ted. Okay, he was working, but he doesn't really know much stuff. But you know, he, he wanted to rob a bank to pay the bills for his daughter, which. It's every single scenario, you know, like, why, why did you do that? I needed money for my daughter, which is also in, ev in every single movie you watch. That's basically it. Guys, if you want to see the last episode of Holmes, leave a big thumbs up and drop me down a sub. If you're interested in what is going to be the last case or what is going to really happen in the last episode, which is just going to be tomorrow. The first case, the second case, the third case and the fourth case really interesting and something you don't really see usually which is really crazy and see you guys in the next one tomorrow with the last case of this game and the ending of this beautiful game